Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are not new here, we appreciate you coming back. And if you are new here, please give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So today we're at the West Palm Beach International Boat Show. And this is actually the first show that Scott and I in Florida have been able to actually walk together. Yep. I normally am working a show, but I'm actually not working this one. And there's more to come about that later. Later. So uh, we're going to start off down at the mega yachts and kind of work our way back to the smaller dis um, displays and the exhibits. Yep. So come along. We'll have some great tours for you. And we hope you enjoy it. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities in the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Since 1982, the Palm Beach International Boat Show, the baby brother to the Fort Lauderdale and Miami boat shows, has grown into a dominant position in South Florida as both a leader in the boating and marine industry. This year boasted over 50,000 visitors, 600 exhibitors, and more than 800 boats on display, ranging from 8-foot inflatables to super yachts nearly 300 feet in length. We have a great opportunity here to hop on this 75 foot Hatteras. This is a 2017. And uh, if you recall, we've only been on two Hatteras so far. One that I think was a Hoarders and one that was uh, quite a bit older. So this yeah. is our newest and I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. Come along. This is fantastic. I could do a few sundowners down here. Yeah, for sure. This is like this, you know, a single, single anchor, windless, foot controls, chain locker, but beautiful. it doesn't have a bow sprint. Um, no, it actually, yeah, you're right. It cuts right through the front of the, front of the bow. Oh, so it looks here, you got a, a large crane. Yep, you got a large Great crane, center. so if you wanted to hang your dinghy up here, or got store your dinghy here, you could. A locker here for storage. And let's see what this is. Guessing a barbecue. Yep. Yep, oh, dual barbecue. Yep, and these are probably fridges. No, oh, no, storage. storage. Oh, that's interesting. Because it's more of an indoor outdoor space. Yeah. So if we go indoors, I like how it's like split. Yeah. So you do have conditioned space up here. Oh, and that feels good. The AC. Yeah. Oh, so that's got nice. Like a little bar right here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. I thought maybe that was passage into the main cabin, but no, it's not. No, it's the bar. So you have dual fridge, maybe foot fridge freezer. Yep. We have a sink. What's, sink. what's on the this side? Anything? Just storage. Okay. So you got yourself a TV. Just storage, garbage. Three bar stools. I really like the fact that you have all this seating. Yeah. And then you come up to the, and this is the only helm station on this boat. There is no inside helm station, which I kind of like because you'll see as we go inside, it saves a lot of space for living rather than taking it up with the helm station. And you have pretty good visibility up here. Great visibility up here. You do have bow and, and, and stern thrusters. Backup uh, back uh, back camera. Backup camera. You have um, 
joystick control. It is a Garmin electric electronics cluster, uh, fantastic autopilot, dual VHF. That's always nice. Um, and you got your twin caps for your throttles. So really, really nice. And a TV. Very clean. And a TV, I think I called that up. <laughs> and you got some nice, cool little ceiling lights up here. Yeah. Got the vent here. This is a really nice, I, again, I do like how it, it's dual space. And you could take all these windows out if you wanted to, to yeah. double your inside outdoor space. And I like the fact that you also have the shades shade. for more yeah. shade back here because here in, in West Palm right now, it is ungodly hot. Thank God for the wind and the shade. There you go. Slick. So here you've got a large area for entertaining. Large TV here, and check out the size of this. Cabin. Yeah, this is a really nice salon. I think we could live on this. Great TV built into the cabinet, and as you walk into here, we so have. These are probably, this is your fridge and yeah, freezer. I'll show you that here in a second, but you do have the like, stove top and microwave, sink. This is probably what oh, you wanna. Dishwasher. dishwasher that's a huge dishwasher too and then we come over here we have refrigerator freezer oh, i'm guessing this is probably day a day head so just toilet and sink perfect perfect size it's not too small actually that's a really good size sink for a day head nice dining area here and this is what i was talking about when the upper helm station typically this whole corner would be. would be a lower helm station which just takes up a whole lot of space and then you'd have just this little sitting area next to it here now you have this entire dinette. dual dinette yeah. i mean i don't even know what you call it but it's just a ton of living space in here here you have the side door to yep. get you out and you have plenty of natural light coming through this is really nice this is not your dad's hatteras this is Okay, should we head down? Yep. You have a nice little TV here, so when you're eating dinner, you can still watch the game. Very modern finishes. You got plenty of storage all along the staircase here. We want to open all of them. I think this is going to be the primary. Probably to aft, yep. So full, full beam primary comes with your own fender right out the window <laughs> but you also have giant king size bed tv on the wall this must be your en suite no the en suite's oh. to the right that's oh got to be a hanging locker right oh, things giant oh goodness yeah oh with your central vac so you have this is kind of more of a utility closet as well as a hanging closet but it seems more of a utility closet because there's your central vac right here uh stereo system all kinds of good stuff we'll close that as we come over back to this side again we have a little seating area lots of storage again under the seating area over on that side as well and then we come over here Beautiful sink, marble floors, rain shower head, as well as handhold in the shower with a little seat. Very nice. And then we exit. Moving forward, we have, oh, two little twins <laughs> on this side. Interesting. Wow, those are small twins. These are like baby twins. Then across the hall, we have a full size berth. Again, with lots of natural light. We also have a TV, a shared ensuite. Yep. So you can get access to it through here or through the hallway. 
Then we have our washer dryer across from that. And then you have the sound of the water in the back. And then as we move to the bow, we have our V-Birth VIP. Really nice, kind of a raised queen. Lots of storage. Its own ensuite again with the marble flooring and countertop. Separate shower and sink. Great hanging lockers. Beautiful boat. And then we exit back. Make our way up. Again. Oh my goodness. Let me just pan it one more time this direction. Give you a point of view from here. Beautiful. And as we exit here, we do have a hydraulic swim deck here. Beautiful. And then we have access to the crew quarters and the engine room, which we are going to bypass today. So this is our outro because it is so blazing hot. Oh, it is hot, hot, hot. Sorry for the rest of the country, but it is hot. God. So we toured at least five, if not six tours. Yeah, we'll see which ones so we bring get to, to you. So you see those. Um, and uh, we took Brightline here, uh, which is a great way to, to travel between Fort Lauderdale and oh, yeah. uh, West Palm. We Avoid I-95 at all costs. Yeah, and we're in first class, so you get snacks and beverages. and So, anyhow, thank you for checking in with us on our channel. If, uh, you, haven't if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, Make sure to leave your comments down oh, yeah. below, but they have to be nice ones. Hit it and hit the subscribe button. Yeah. Boy, are we out of practice or what? Jeez. We haven't filmed together <laughs> in a while. So exciting news after this. I don't know if this will come before or after yes. all this, uh, but we are headed to Barbados this Friday, and we are going to do some cool water sports there. So yep. we'll bring you along and take you to Barbados. See ya. See ya, everybody.